Okay, in this session we're going to cover some more advanced troubleshooting commands. Uh, the first one we're going to get into is PS, or Process Status. And I'm going to actually have to turn on a few flags here. So PS Aux uh, is going to show me uh, just about anything I wanted to know about the processes that are running on this system. Um, if you want to, actually, you can uh, filter some of this output. Um, you can also uh, use the last command, as we already used, to actually be able to scroll up and down. So now you can see that I actually can start at the top, and I can scroll down to see all of the different processes that are currently running. Uh, to get out of this, I would use Q, of course, to get out of less. But um, one thing I wanted to show you that you can also do here is you can filter the output so that uh, we can use grep to filter that output and say I only want to find uh, processes that maybe have asterisks in the name. So now you can see that now it's only showing me those process IDs, uh, processes that have asterisks in the name. So PS is pretty handy. Um, what goes along with that hand in hand is top. Um, you can use the top command and it will run top to show you several different things. Uh, as you can see up at the top here, it's showing me um, how long the system's been up, the load average, um, some of the tasks. Uh, the, as you can see up here in the top, these tasks are the currently running ones that are um, using CPU. So, um, uh, and another useful uh, tool here is to see that um, right now currently the CPUs are only taking up one line. Um, but actually I can hit the one key on my keyboard and you'll see now that actually it broke out those CPUs into two separate um, lines. This is useful uh, if you've maybe got a program that's hogging one of the CPUs or maybe one of the CPUs is maxed out and you need to find what the problem is. So um, that's a pretty useful tool in top. Uh, I'm going to just hit Q to quit this and you're going to see the next version is actually HTOP which is a little more colorful uh, representation of top. Uh, and in this one, you actually have the ability to use your mouse um, to select these menu keys down at the bottom. So I'm going to actually click on F1 for help. And you can see that it actually took me into help. Okay. Uh, if I hit any key, it just takes me back out to the original. So that's um, pretty handy. Uh, as you can see in this display, it already has broken out those CPUs for me. So I can see that there's a difference, a little bit of difference between the two. Um, it's showing me the memory in a graphical, more graphical inter uh, type present representation, and of course the swap. So uh, another useful tool, uh, again, you can use your mouse in here. I'm going to click on the F10 quit, and there you go. That was HTOP. All right, another useful tool that you may be asked to... Um, to uh, provide is uname minus a will show you the current kernel version and a few more details um, but uh, this is the current kernel version of the system running here this was the date that it was installed all right so those are handy um, another tool that uh, we're going to cover here real briefly is rpm um, rpm can do a lot of things but in this scenario we're just going to show you um, what we want to see is actually which packages, RPM packages, we have installed. So I'm going to use the uh, RPM with the minus QA switch, but I actually want to um, filter this a little bit. So I'm going to use grep, and I only want to see what's what dotty packages are installed. So I'm going to use grep dotty there. Now you see it's going to actually go out and looks for every single package that's installed on the system that has dotty in the name. So another useful tool uh, when you're troubleshooting, uh, especially if you need to, you're having issues with a particular version uh, of a package. So um, a useful tool there, RPM minus QA. Uh, we covered PS, top, HTOP, and UNAME minus A. That's all I have for this session. Thanks for watching.